Today we've got something very interesting to talk about. We've got a possible Rockstar Games insider who accurately predicted the third Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer one month before it released. And here lately, he's been posting cryptic clues on the GTA forums regarding GTA 6. And while I can't say this is 100% real, or fake, based on this user's credibility with accurately predicting in April 2018 the Red Dead Redemption 2 third trailer, I would say that this is something very interesting to keep your eyes on. So for the first time out of every GTA 6 video I've ever posted on my channel, I think we've got like 30 or 35 of them so far over the last 6 to 7 months, uh, this is the first time that I've actually been actually kind of excited, like really excited and kind of hopeful in getting my hopes up. So, we have a possible Rockstar Games insider who has accurately predicted Red Dead Redemption 2 information, the Red Dead Redemption 2 PC release information, and here lately has been leaving cryptic GTA 6 clues on the GTA forums. So, because I'm a YouTuber, a lot of people think, dude, you just make all of this stuff up for views. Well, to be honest, that requires way too much effort. It's a lot easier just to talk about things that are going around uh, opposed to making that up. I, I don't even think I that would be possible for me to do. So, if you Google Grand Theft Auto 6 right now, you will see trending today, a couple hours ago, from major sites like Express.com. Co, Daily Express, Game Rant, and many others about an impending GTA 6 coming soon announcement. So, real quick, just to rewind, we talked about a few weeks ago Dan Hauser, one of the three founders of Rockstar Games, actually leaving Rockstar Games. And that date that he is leaving is tomorrow. March 11th, 2020. So, could we see Dan go out with a bang with a GTA 6 announcement reveal or something like that? Uh, that's a bit far-fetched, but that's kind of an interesting theory, so to speak. Also, just a few days ago, we talked about a 4chan leak stating that GTA 6 is going to be coming March 25th, 2020. Or at least just a, a release date, a teaser, or an announcement, or something along those lines. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, because we've got some really crazy stuff to talk about today. And 99% of the time, I don't believe any of this, but this one has me pretty excited. So this user posting these cryptic Grand Theft Auto 6 clues, and we're going to use that phrase a lot in this video, is is gonna in O'Day that? <laughs> it's a weird name to pronounce. Anyways, I'm just going to call him G from here on out, or that user. So for the last couple of months, this GTA forums user has been posting cryptic clues to the GTA forums GTA 6 speculation thread, mainly consisting of weirdly typed out phrases and links to YouTube videos. But one thing I want to preface before getting any further into this video is that the GTA forums is very strict when it comes to threads and posts regarding alleged, and you can see the air quotes around that, leaks. GTA Forums is very renowned for administering quick bans to BS posts. However, this user in particular, who's been a member of the GTA Forums since June 2011, has been able to get away with these cryptic posts on the GTA 6 po uh, speculation thread uh, without any repercussions, without any posts being removed, without any bans going on. Uh, and he's even had some of his threads pinned and favored by the admins and moderators, who, like I said, when it comes to the GTA forums, is very, very strict. So, this is super out of character for the GTA forums. And I don't believe that this is some inside job and admins just playing tricks on everybody, because that is a possibility. But being the way the GTA forums site is run, I just don't see that happening, as there would be a lot of people getting in trouble. And the GTA forums, obviously, has been around for for the better part of, what, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 years now. So, it is very renowned, very reputable, and I don't think that they would let 20 years of good reputation just go down the drain with something like this. So, I believe this user isn't being censored because he knows something, and the admins know this, so they're letting him get away with posting his cryptic clues. So, up until about two days ago, if you actually visited grandtheft 6net 
it would actually redirect you to this user's GTA forums profile. But now it will actually, it's been changed, like I said, within the last day or two. And instead it redirects you to the Ephesians 320, which isn't a real profile, but that in general is like a quote from the Bible. And I'm not really sure what that is all supposed to mean. But that's something very interesting just to kind of take into consideration here. As well as with this user, he's kind of trending everywhere within all these articles right now. And also on Reddit, a lot of people are trying to figure out what kind of clues is he leaving and what does this mean? So let's actually go back and take a look at this user's kind of history and see if he has any sort of credibility whatsoever. And if we do, we actually find out that, well, this user does have a little bit of credibility so in april 2018 one month exact before the third red dead redemption 2 trailer released he started a gta forums thread now this thread back on april 2nd 2018 it actually ended up uh, trending for a while a couple uh, media outlets picked up on it and it was rockstar at the usher hall now i still don't know what that means but the original post on this thread was were they playing cowboys chasing engines maybe raising a posse cutting a plan to derail the next bullion train or was strauss just flexing his muscles shooting shark cards out of his bum anyone so he also went on to say just a couple comments down that edinburgh is like a village nothing stays a secret for too long around these parts so interestingly enough the edinburgh quote is actually referencing Edinburgh, Scotland, the location of Rockstar North. Now, as for the original post, talking about chasing engines, referring to trains, and all this and that, remember, this came out on April 2nd. One month to the date that this post was made on May 2nd, 2018, the third Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer released. And everything mentioned in this post happened in the exact order that happened in this trailer. Like I said, that was one month before. So this user accurately predicted everything that went on to happen in this rdr2 third trailer he also did the same thing just recently three weeks before rdr2 pc was announced so yes this user i would say has a lot of credibility being that he is two for two when it comes to these type of posts so here recently within the last month or two he's been posting on the gta6 speculation thread now one thing that's interesting about the gta6 speculation thread is that the header at the top was recently changed and the phrase here we go again was added we use the Wayback Machine, and we can actually see that just recently, this phrase wasn't there, and now it is. So what does here we go again even mean? So that's new and interesting, but this is where these cryptic posts are taking place. Now, most of them are just links to YouTube videos, and a lot of them have to do with music, but most of these YouTube videos are from the 70s. And from the 80s, and even one of these music videos that was linked, released on March 25th, like 1980-something. So, being that March 25th, 1980, whatever, it's March 10th, but remember a few days ago we talked about that 4chan leak that just said GTA VI, March 25th, 2020? That's one of those very interesting things right there in a coincidence that wasn't posted by this user But who knows if that has some credibility, but also in some of these YouTube videos that are being linked Some southern states are referenced Florida or the location of a vice city happens to be referenced a lot South America Panama is even mentioned in some of these videos which as we know would coincide with the project America's leak alleging that GTA 6 is gonna take place in the 70s 80s and present time but also between vice city and south america now edinburgh is also mentioned in these posts as well and once again like i said with the red dead redemption 2 stuff that is actually the location of rockstar north in scotland so just so many things going on here and it makes you wonder is, is something big coming soon being that this user accurately predicted a red dead redemption 2 trailer one month before it came out and, and like i said accurately 100 predicted everything 
Is this something we're going to see with GTA 6 as well? That's what gets me really excited because this user has some credibility. So, also, I just want to talk about kind of in the past, has this happened before on the GTA forums? Well, yes. So, way back in 2007, before GTA 4 was revealed, a user by the name of Deep Throat GTA 4 started posting in 07 leading up to the reveal trailer around March of that year. Uh, all that stuff ended up coming true. The same happened for GTA 5, except it was a post uh, Genesis, I believe it was. Posting, a, you know, about four to five months before GTA 5 was announced or released, cryptic clues, phrases, and all this stuff that actually turned out to be true. So, my kind of theory here is that the reason that this gonna and obey that user on the GTA forums is getting away with these posts is because the mods know that this is insider information and it's so cryptic, it's giving us answers, but not in a way where the GTA forums could get in trouble for leaving this stuff public. Because, hey, it's a link to a video from the 70s. What, what's this mean? But really, it would be like the title of this video, giving away some sort of information and, and like adding all that stuff up and putting it together. So that's kind of my theory right there. It could be far-fetched. Could we see something regarding GTA 6 very soon? Well, based on this user's history, I would say yes. And all also, I've been saying that for a while now that between February and May 2020, we're probably going to get a GTA 6 announcement. So just seeing this, honestly, I get my hopes up. I'm really excited, but it doesn't confirm anything, but it's something interesting to keep your eyes on. So you can find all my sources linked down below in the description, but hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of all this. I'm going to read through every single comment. If you enjoy, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. That way you never miss out on another daily video game upload. And with that said, I'm Zach Cox. Love you all. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you in the next video.